Hello everyone and welcome back to a new video and like I've been saying the past two videos uh, on today's video it's gonna be a lot of changes and I'm really looking forward to showing everybody uh, definitely I uh, feel like it's definitely elevated the build so much uh, as you see I'm actually deciding to use these castle walls I was hesitant to use them at first uh, just because I didn't want it to look like castle core but I really don't think it does uh, I really think it adds another like level in a different like I don't know something different to look at rather than the medieval walls I think it helps a lot uh, also too uh, you're gonna see me do the same thing over here uh, just because I am gonna elevate this area uh, right here up some more uh, I did run out of medieval walls right here uh, so I, I couldn't really place down everything I wanted to uh, but yeah uh, today's gonna be a lot a lot of changing and uh, adding decorations uh, so it's going to feel really full and not like bare and empty like it was before. Uh, well, in my opinion, at least. So I'm really looking forward to changing that. And uh, right now, uh, like I said, I am going to build up this area some more. Uh, I have a really cool idea with it. I did decide to end up putting uh, a shop up here. Uh, I'm going to put because I, I have another idea with the like Timmy and Tommy shop. Uh, I wanted to put down uh, the tailor shop right here uh, just because it's smaller and uh, I could put more stuff up here uh, because if I put uh, too many Tommy shop up here it'd be way too big and I definitely didn't want to do that uh, so yeah I'm really glad I stuck with the tailors uh, and overall it ended up looking great and I can't wait to show you guys uh, the main thing I had trouble with was the shape because I didn't know how big I needed to make it or how small I was definitely just guessing uh, but eventually I did work it out to get what I wanted uh, I feel like uh, I will be changing this uh, later on in the video uh, because I'm not happy or content with it right now uh, but yeah for right now I'm gonna go ahead and just fill in all this top area here uh, I did decide to use a brick instead of like that kind of like that sidewalk pathing path uh, just to change it up some and I'm really happy I did I feel like it just looks a lot better and I don't know like cleaner uh, I feel like it's gonna fit uh, the tailor shop a lot more so I was happy I I used this instead and after I got all this finally uh, finished filling it like this stuff in I went ahead and ran it over to uh, resident service uh, I needed to grab a not only a incline but I also needed to grab the tailors uh, thankfully you can do uh, both of them in one go so I didn't have to come back I always forget you can do this uh, but yeah I went ahead and grabbed both and then I went instantly back there uh, because I was really excited to place everything down and now that we're back uh, I started off by placing this down and I didn't like how this was like kind of like sticking out some so I went ahead and busted that in one more uh, because I don't know I didn't want to have to delete this and then time travel it's just been a big ordeal and over here I didn't know where I wanted to place it at right away uh, I just decided to go ahead and place it like on the corner it would just give me some more space uh, that I desperately needed and I knew I wanted to add a tree so I went ahead and placed that down uh, just so I didn't forget to and I want to add some fencing just to kind of I don't know break it away from like everything else uh, yeah I just like it uh, <laughs> same thing over here but I used hedging uh, I really like the hedge it definitely helps a lot especially with all the browns and now that we're in the next day and everything's actually here I ordered some more medieval walls and now you can see what I was going for I really like that I did this I feel like it helps a lot and kind of like hiding it I don't know I was really happy with it and now that uh, the shop is actually here I went ahead and started placing down the pathing underneath of it I really like how this is looking I don't know it just looks really cool and like I was saying before I wanted to add some more decorations so you're gonna see me adding all kinds of things uh, like to the tables to the houses and just around uh, spicing up a lot of the areas uh, because I feel like it was just I don't know not uh, enough for me so I wanted to add a lot more and I did end up using only castle walls right here I just feel like it looks a lot better and I was definitely a lot happier with it and You'll see me miss it around here too. Uh, I ended up moving away those hedges that was like making the backyard. I just feel like it didn't work. Uh, I did leave some of the hedges there. Uh, so there could be some hedging there at least. 
Uh, but yeah, uh, overall, I went ahead and just removed that wall, I mean the hedging, and placed some wall down. And now, uh, you're going to see me go back and forth here. Like I said, I wasn't happy with this. I feel like it made the road too small. So I actually went ahead and busted this in two more. Uh, it looks like it's going to be really small, uh, but I promise you it's going to work out because it looks really, really awesome. Uh, I was definitely really happy how this came out. Uh, I'm really excited to show you guys. Uh, for right now, I'm putting in just some sidewalk uh, pathing and I didn't know what I wanted to put here. I didn't know if I wanted to put like a castle wall or like a medieval wall like I'm showing you here right here. I didn't know. Uh, so for right now, just for looks, I did just place it down just so it could help me analyze and think about like what I wanted to do. And over here, I did just decide to fill this in some more uh, just to help me kind of gauge on what I wanted to do and how I needed to do it. Uh, but I was definitely struggling over here. <laughs> I had to pick up a lot of things just to kind of go around to add some more walls uh, because I needed to finish up uh, this wall over here uh, because uh, I needed to like kind of block it off uh, from the forest core. I did put everything back, uh, but this definitely was a pain. Uh, but it did help me a lot because it was kind of confusing me on what I wanted to do. I didn't end up putting a staircase over here just because I feel like I didn't need it. And I feel like there will be other ways to get in to like this part. So I don't know. I didn't feel like it was necessary. And now that I got that done, uh, I went ahead and started placing down some more walls over here just to see what it would look like. I was kind of testing the waters with everything to see if I liked it. Uh, and I think I did. I was really happy with how it turned out. So I did follow through with this, but you'll see me pick it up quite a bit just because I didn't know if I wanted to add it behind. And I did because I, I feel like I'm a perfectionist and any little thing I see that is off, I want to fix. Uh, so I went ahead and went behind to see if I would like it. And I definitely did. So I wanted to go with that. So I ended up picking up every single thing and I was like, I need to cover up one more wall right here at least. So I went ahead and did that. And I just wanted to make it look like it was caged off. And I don't know, it's like just not floating. I don't know. Uh, so I'm really happy I did this. And overall, I think it turned out really, really, really well. And way better than what I was doing uh, at the beginning. And I was really happy with that. I think this looks awesome. And uh, you'll see me here. Uh, I have so many ideas running through my head on what I wanted to add. Uh, so I went ahead and just started adding all kinds of stuff I could think of. I put back the hedging like I did before and over here I put a street lamp. I just, I just think this looks awesome. I'll definitely come back up later on to add some more decoration. Uh, but for right now you'll see me add in uh, these bistro tables. I feel like they looked awesome right here. Uh, I was going to add another like ash tree right here. But I just feel like it was way too out of place. So I went ahead and just added another bistro table. I just look, I feel like this looks amazing and I was really happy I ended up doing this. I just, I don't know, it just fills in the area perfectly. And now uh, I went back up here to think about what I wanted to add here. Uh, I had a few things going through my head. Uh, I decided to pick up one of the uh, like hedges and put down a actual table and chair just to fill in the area more. I feel like it looks awesome. And uh, first, first vending machine I use, fun fact, vending machines are like my favorite item in the game. Uh, I don't know why, they just are. And I just add another hedging right here to kind of separate the area. And now that I got that done, uh, I kind of went crazy because I had a lot of ideas in mind. And I decided to add all kinds of vehicles, uh, like cars, scooters, and bikes, just to fill in the area some more like I promised. And I was really happy and pleased that I did because it made this area just change, like a total 180. Uh, it definitely brought it to life, I feel like. And I was really happy I did this. I did some more running around just to figure out like where I wanted to place all these items at because I had a lot in my inventory and I definitely wanted to empty it out. Uh, so I wanted to make sure I kind of filled in every single area that I could uh, just to, I don't know, help. And it definitely did. And I was really pleased that I did all this. Uh, the bikes, the street lamps, I mean, they all help uh, fill in the area and make it look more alive. And it definitely did that. I even added another vending machine. Uh, you can't go anywhere without a vending machine. So I think it was really fitting. Uh, and these scooters too. Uh, I love the white. I think they just look awesome. And I don't know, overall, I was really pleased with how it was turning out. I knew uh, for sure I need to add some more things, 
just some hedging just to kind of cover off that wall some more uh, because I just didn't want it to look like some backwards wall right there uh, so I made it look kind of like a nice little sitting area and I just added some more hedges like around there and the straight lamps right here to cover in uh, those backyards more and I made these chairs uh, just so to have some more sitting I just think that added so much and uh, adding stuff to tables just to kind of cover it up some more and uh, I added a plant a little like, coffee plant over there by the tailors and just some more straight lamps uh, these are recycled papers that cover up some more area and our rover's briefcase and now that we got all that done uh, we're doing a walkthrough just look at all the different stuff we've added I feel like it looks so much better uh, definitely more alive like I said uh, multiple times but yeah And that wraps up today's video and like I was saying before uh, there's definitely a lot of changes in this video and I'm really pleased with how they everything came out especially adding all these new items and stuff I really do feel like this just changed everything and it looks so much better and the tailor shop up here is awesome uh, but yeah if you guys did uh, like today's video and uh, don't want to miss out on anything else uh, please do uh, consider subscribing and liking and until next time